good morning. This is uh, this is a Logitech C922X camera, and uh, I just bought this thing because uh, I've been looking to see if I can come up with something that will let me do, oh, I don't know, better videos and get better sound and so forth when I'm uh, creating videos. And uh, I picked this up on Amazon, and uh, the reason I picked it up this time around was it was on sale! It was on sale! It's like $130 Canadian normally, and, uh, and I just got it for, um, for uh, how much money? $99 Canadian, 99, well, $100, $99.99 or something like that. Anyway, so it, it got to the point where it was too good to pass up, and uh, I had to do it. So if you take a look, it's plugged into my USB port here on my computer. And uh, my computer happens to be an Acer laptop with a Core i5, 12 gig of RAM. It's, it's reasonably punchy, and it has a very cool Dune background. But that doesn't have anything to do with the camera. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount the camera up here on top of the... On top of the um, of the computer and uh, we're gonna test it out and see what it looks like, okay? All right, cool. Okay, here we are in Linux land and uh, I realized that when we say Linux, we can mean a whole pile of different things. So let me just tell you right off the bat that what I am running, although it may not look like it here, is something called Peppermint OS. Um, I read about this just recently and I thought I would give it a shot, but let, is, let me just show you what happens here, slash etc, slash, LSB tab and there we go. Peppermint OS, it's Peppermint Release 10 and it's based on, uh, as you can see there, Ubuntu Bionic. So it's, uh, it's pretty recent stuff, pretty up to date and uh, that's what I'm running at the moment. I actually did, I mean I did kind of like the default Peppermint desktop but then I went and switched to uh, the um, KDE Plasma desktop, because if you know me, if you've watched me before, you know I love KDE Plasma, so, you know, that's what happened. I went back to that. Anyway, as I was saying, the uh, the main reason for me choosing the camera in the first place, or trying a different camera, is that, A, I haven't been happy with the way that video looks, uh, especially if I try to do, uh, you know, picture in picture, like, with the camera, like, I mean, I'm down in the bottom right hand there, as you can see, well, obviously, in the OBS desktop stuff as well. And frankly, I haven't been happy with the sound. I've tried all sorts of different um, microphones and uh, microphone setups, and everything is always kind of wanting. I even took one on a big boom arm hanging over top of the laptop, and I just could not get something that was easy to work with that I thought sounded reasonably good. I suppose I could spend many thousands of dollars, but I didn't want to do that. And as I pointed out in the uh, video that I recorded from my phone, this was on sale. So I just couldn't pass it up this time around. So let me show you what I did here. This is in uh, OBS Studio. And uh, I'm going to go over to where it says Video Capture Device because it's this thing here. And we are going to right click and I am going to go to Properties. Now, as you can see, it's a C922, although it says C922X on the box. I don't know what the difference uh, for the X might be but th this is the way that this is set up and as you can see it's kind of like all gray in the back there that's because i'm doing a green screen effect and hey as a bonus i'm going to show you how to set up the green screen on this um the other thing that's cool about this camera is i really didn't have to do anything well okay that's a lie um i did have to do something because when i first hooked it up on obs it just didn't show up so i left it plugged in i rebooted and miraculously everything is working absolutely perfectly so that's what i actually had to do to make this thing happen maybe i could have just logged out i don't know but i did have to uh re i did have to cycle things in order for the camera to be visible but sound audio all that stuff just works perfectly i'm going to click ok here and i'm just going to show you um on the microphone down here what i did on the microphone i went to properties and there it is c922 pro stream camera um, you know, visible as one of the sources of audio. So it was just like dead simple. It was really nice. All right. So like I said, as a bonus, I'm going to show you how to do the green screen setup. Okay. Because back there I have a green screen in behind me, which gives me that, you know, transparent floating in space thing happening. Um, but there's a cost. And the cost is I need you to tell me what you think of the sound or what you think of the uh, the picture quality, like uh, specifically related to the camera, I, I want to know. I want to know if it sounds good and if you've listened to some of my, my earlier videos, you can tell me whether the sound on this is better than the sound on previous videos. I think it probably is from what I've done so far, but you know, I'd love to get your opinion. So comments, thumbs up, thumbs down if you don't like what I'm doing here. And if you do like what I'm doing and you think this is useful, share it with other people. So there you go. 
Anyway, so we'll go back to the video capture device. Let me right click here and look at the bottom where it says filters. See that down there? Okay, click on filters and it opens up and there's my floating face again. And down here, you see it says effect filters and it says audio filters. I'm interested in the effect filters. And specifically, if you click the plus sign, you'll see a bunch of them, Luma key, render delay, blah, blah, blah. You're interested in this one, chroma key, okay? Which is what we've got here. So if I click on that chroma key, you've got a whole bunch of setups that appear at the bottom. And in particular, when I did this, um, it wasn't all that exciting. And there's a setting up here, like you can play with all the settings because the color of your screen may be different. Ooh, that was, that's cool. Ooh, sp spooky. Anyway, if you take a look here where it's a similarity, watch. See how the green screen appears? See how it disappears. What happens if I go all the way? I disappear. Cool. All right. So what you want to do is you want to come up with a balance so that the screen disappears in the background. And once you've done that, once you've done that, you can close and miracle of miracles. There you go. You got a floating head on a screen and it's really kind of cool. And uh, hey, do you like my uh, Dune desktop? I did mention it when I was uh, doing the uh, phone camera thing, but there it is. I must not fear, fear is the mind killer. Fear is little death that brings total obliteration. I will face my fears. I will permit it to pass over me and through me. And when it has gone past, I will turn the inner eye to see its path. Where the fear has gone, there will be nothing. Only I will remain. Now, just uh, that's obviously the uh, litany uh, against fear from uh, the Dune universe. But uh, I found this desktop somewhere. You can look for it on the internet if you want. And uh, it didn't have the text. I just sort of superimposed the text because, you know, dude, what can I say? Anyway, um, that's it. That's how you set up the uh, camera. Let me know what you think of how it works and what it sounds like. And, um, and uh, that's it. Share, comment, thumbs up, subscribe, you know, all that stuff. I'd really appreciate it. And uh, that's it. Marcel, out. Now I just have to click where it says stop recording and it should stop.